3D printed, radio controlled airboat. We are going back to the basics today. This is literally what got me into radio controlled whatsoever. But I really just had one condition and that was that it was supposed to be printed on the CR10 in just one go. This entire RC airboat was printed on the CR10. It's stretching it, but it works. This is just a desperate attempt to redeem my name after the boat fiasco. If that doesn't sound watertight to you, then I don't know what is. Oh yeah, the RC boat that we made a couple of weeks ago with limited success is unfortunately no longer with us. I posted this picture on Instagram and right after I got home, I accidentally cut one of these lithium polymer batteries and it absolutely exploded in smoke in here. Luckily, I had the door open. I got it outside in probably less than two seconds. You can see the lithium polymer battery literally turned into ash and it left this huge hole. It totally wrecked the boat. Nonetheless, the reason we didn't find too much success with the boat was because we could see the phenomenon where water would creep through the PLA material into the boat. And the reason I think was because it was not thick enough. It was only two perimeters. So with this RC airboat, I designed it to be four perimeters thick, meaning that the through the printer will do back and forth, back and forth to build the four walls to protect the water from, from getting in. And that seems to work. As you can see in the bathtub, I can leave it there for over an hour and it still wouldn't take in water. One of the more popular comments was to use something called flex seal to make a part waterproof and honestly I don't think that's necessary like I think the main challenge here is to make a pure 3d print waterproof and, and clearly you can do it let me go through the electronics and I'll do my best to post links in the description below so you can build one yourself but the reason I think RC airboats is as simple as it gets is because it's only a handful of components that you will need and the first thing we have here is a battery. This is a lithium polymer 2200 four cell battery. This is what powers everything. The battery gets connected to this one. This is a RC car electric speed controller. This is where the motor gets plugged in and this is where the battery gets plugged in. And this is where the receiver, this little thing gets plugged into the electric speed controller. This transmitter, sorry, this receiver talks to this transmitter. So that's how you control it. And this is the motor. Super cheap components. Like you can probably get this for under a hundred dollars and see it more as an investment because you can transfer all this stuff to newer things that you print in the future. To make the steering work, we have a small nine gram servo. This one is literally two, three dollars. You'll see how everything works once we have it attached on the airboat. So let's get started. I always do this to electronic components that I intend to use close to water. Silicone rubber to seal in the electronic to make it waterproof. You need to print the main boat, one rudder and then uh, four of these hinges. Uh, you may want to check the math on that, but it's not a lot of parts and there is plenty of room for a 2200 four cell battery to get in there. The servo back here that is connected to this rudder with a steel rod going uh, behind this reinforcement bracket. I also balance the propeller with a piece of tape over oh, nice. You're supposed to zip tie the cables so you protect them from not getting cut off so you don't have to swim out in the middle of the lake. Uh, but all there is left to do is now is uh, connect the battery and uh, let's give it a test run in the garage right now.
promise you, there is a lake here somewhere. I really like this place. There is zero waves, just smooth cruising all day. And it's not the Caribbean water, but it is pretty clear. So hopefully I will be able to put a GoPro in the water and get some cool underwater shots. And it's just shielded 360 from the wind. And yeah, it's just this oasis in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna start with a medium sized battery. I did bring a 1400 four cell as well as a 3200 four cell. So we can go both ways. Nine, 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 nine. Okay guys, this is the RC 3D printed airboat first test on water. Let's see if it even floats. Which if it does, it's already more of a success than the RC boat we made. Yo, this totally works. Check this out. Ooh, that is just absolutely awesome. <laughs> okay, how awesome wasn't that? And look at this. It's almost no water inside of the airboat, which makes me very very pleased uh, there was one thing that I noticed observed and that was the airboat would be perfectly stable at very low speeds even at medium speeds it would be very very stable now whenever I would speed up whenever I would hit the throttle to maybe over 60% the end of the boat would kind of lift up and it would surf on only this portion right here. And so the airboat would kind of spin out. And what I think is happening, what's causing the issue is the motor being mounted too high. Because the center of gravity is one third of the total length uh, from the back. So almost exactly at the motor. So with all this leverage arm, it has to push the nose down. Uh, I think we will benefit hugely from changing the propeller to a slightly smaller one uh, that will allow me to lower the motor and hopefully reduce the leverage arm that it has to push the nose down. And I might even pop in the heavier battery just to keep the back down of the airboat that will also help. Uh, so change propeller, lower the motor and heavier battery. I don't know about the heavier battery but uh, the first two anyways. Uh, okay, the motor has been adjusted quite a bit further down actually a five inch propeller So let's see how this goes and let's have some fun That's definitely better. That is so much fun. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and it's now time to say goodbye to this beautiful place. Honestly, I forgot how great of a place this is to record videos at. So I'll definitely be here soon enough. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Bye.